Hey guys, so we have the information on the next Zenkai coming to Dragon Ball Legends. And V-Jump did tell us that we would be getting Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Red. His Zenkai is coming soon, but they threw a bit of a curveball at us because it looks like we have Legends Road Piccolo Zenkai coming. Now, this is a curveball from two different angles. The angle number one, which I just talked about, is that we already know Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is getting one, but... The angle number two is that if you actually go in order for Legends Road, right? We're going to take a look at the Legends Road team right here. Because um, up until now, they've gone in order, right? We've gotten Kid Goku, then we got Trunks, then we got Gotenks. That is the order the Legends Road units released in. It went, it went Goku, Trunks, and then Gotenks. Now, the way the order is supposed to go after Gotenks, I think we would have expected... I think Great Saiyan Man was next. And then after that would be Yardrat Goku, then Piccolo, and then Teen Gohan. Actually, can't remember if it was Goku, then Great Saiyan Man, or Great Saiyan Man, then Goku. I think it was Great Saiyan Man, then Goku. So technically, Piccolo is coming out of order, quote unquote. But I think it's just because of the fact that, honestly, Great Saiyan Man number one is still pretty solid. And um, I guess they just didn't want to give, you know, his teams another thing. I don't, I don't know why, honestly. <laughs> There's actually no reason why they did this. But um, they did tell us on Twitter that... His Zenkai Wiccan Legends Road Piccolo, the effects of his main, uh, main and unique abilities will last longer, making him an even stronger supporter, and if you can unlock all of his unique abilities to boost his own firepower too. So they didn't give us much to work with here, it's very vague. More firepower, so I guess they're just talking about his own damage potential. Um, the one thing I will point out as well is that in the news, there is a maintenance announcement here, so, um, you know, for summon, for summons only, right? Typically, when there's only summons announced in the, in, the, in the news, that usually means that it's for a Zenkai, right? Usually, Zenkais do not have shop maintenance accompanying, accompanying it. I still expect Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Zenkai to be released tomorrow as well. I think this will be a, a week where we get a double Zenkai release. It'll be this Piccolo, and then it'll also be Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But if Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta ends up not coming up to, uh, tomorrow, then uh, he will almost definitely be the following week. So let's take a look at what this Piccolo is able to do right now. So I'm going to compare him to Gotenks. Just know that Gotenks is a defense type unit, so his stats are not going to be like nearly as good as what I think. Well, actually, that's not true because Piccolo is a support type unit. So typically what they do with support and uh, defense type units is they, they don't give them as good stats as like a range type unit or a melee type unit. So Gotenks, obviously his defensive stats for strike defense and blast defense are very high because his defense type, defense type unit. But he's at 263,000 strike, 239,000 blast. Um, for Piccolo, he's more blast oriented. I expect this blast stat to go up to something like similar to how Gotenks' strike stat is at 263. So maybe like 265 blast, maybe two. What is he at? Maybe like 240 strike, and then for defense is maybe like 175 for both defenses or something, something like that, um, which is fine. I mean, he's free to play. You are going to be able to finally get him to 14 stars because up until this point you weren't able to boost him that, that much. Main ability is Fusion of God and Demon. 35% of damage inflicted by allied tag region or the Legends Road for 25 counts. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 30% to damage received for 20 timer counts. Cancels enemy attribute upgrades. 35% um, damage is actually a lot. Um, it's for specific tags only, but... 35% um, is pretty potent, um, and it said that they were going to increase um, the effects of his main and unique abilities in terms of um, the, the time that it lasts. So, you know, instead of 25 counts, we're probably looking at something like 40 counts, or maybe even 50 counts if they want to go that high. Um, and then the downgrade is also probably going to last longer, but it's, you know, putting a downgrade on an enemy is not always the best because there's ways where they could be immune to it, there's ways where they can, like, you know, abolish it off of themselves. So, um, we'll see how they change this uh, main ability. The first unique ability is Mind of the Super Warriors. Shortens own substitution count by 2 as a default, which is cool. Applies the following effects to allies when this character is defeated. 30% of damage inflicted for 30 counts, and then increases Arts Card draw speed by 1 level for 30 counts. This is the second unit in the game, I believe there's only two um, units in the game that give card draw speed to allies. The other unit is the yellow OG Future Gohan. Uh, the only problem with, well, quote-unquote problem with this Piccolo is that he only gives card draw speed for a set period of time, whereas the future Gohan's buffs are permanent. So, um, I mean, again, it tells you that his main and unique abilities uh, will last longer. So, you know, maybe they just make this permanent, right? For a death buff, I would expect the buffs to be permanent. Um, if you have an ally die, 
like giving a permanent buff is what you would expect to happen like an ally is dead and for their death to be a benefit like they're what they're sacrificing a unique ability pretty much to have this be relevant um for your team and at the, the least they can do like to make this a death buff like actually like a, a positive thing um for more of a majority of the fight is to make it infinite but i, I don't see it being infinite i see this being like 50 counts something like that um, and then in terms of if they're going to increase the actual numbers, like for damage, I don't. I think 30% is already pretty good. And then Arch Card Draw Speed is not going to go to like level 2 or anything like that. Um, the second unique ability is Namekian Willpower. Applies the following effects to allies when this character is switched to standby. 30% of blast damage inflicted for 15 counts, 30% to key recovery for 15 counts, and then also applies the following effects to allied tag regen or legends road. 30% of strike damage for 15 counts, and then also restores health by 5%, activates three times, which is pretty similar to um, the UR number one Vegeta effect. Um, so he's giving a lot of damage to regen and Legends Road. I think when you take a look at the regen team, and uh, you know you look at all the units that they have available to them, let's actually just pull this up real quick. Um, the, the This team is already pretty stacked for yellow Zenkai units. I mean, you making Piccolo and LF Piccolo. If you have them both Zenkai, I see almost no universe where this character is able to actually be used on the regen team if you have both those units available to you. Um, but I mean, if you really want to go like full support um, for this team, you could do something where you just go like um, the LF Piccolo, like right here, the LF Zenkai Piccolo, and then you go the Legends Road Piccolo because you know this Piccolo actually also does provide a support buff. Um, and then you can go like Kid Buu or something if you have Kid Buu or Zenkai 21 which is a pretty decent option for this team too because she has card draw speed, she's a blue regen unit that they've wanted for a long time, so is Kid Buu, but he's an LF. So, um, they all support the whole team, right? 21 LF Piccolo and now this Legends Road Piccolo, all Zenkai units on regen, they're all supporting each other. That sounds like a pretty powerful team to me because keep in mind, if you have the, the main ability popped, right? You're giving 35% to regen, then you're giving an additional 30% all damage inflicted per region when you switch to standby. So you're giving 65% damage inflicted. That's actually like the, probably the most potent support buff in the entire game. Plus you're also healing. So this guy is actually, he has the foundation to be very, very powerful. We'll see how they, how they, uh, they work the Zenkai. Special move is the light grenade, deals major explode damage, inflicts enemy that should be downgrade, plus uh, minus or sorry, plus 20% of the blast damage uh, received for 20 timer counts on hit. This is not the best. Um, I don't really see them buffing this to massive damage like they do with summonable Zenkai units. Maybe this is 20 timer counts on activation, and then this goes to 25% or something like that. I don't really see them buffing this that much. The green card is neck crack. I actually think the, the animation on this is, is cool because this is like where he cracks his neck um, right before fighting 17, right? 20% um, of blast damage inflicted for 15 counts and then cancels own attribute downgrades and of normal conditions. If they, the one thing I really do want to see them change for this is if they just make this applicable to all allies. So not just for himself, but 20% blast damage inflicted for all allies for 15 counts would be cool. So just to work, um, you know, more of his support style into the into that green card. And then his Z ability is just going to go up to 32% base blast defense for these tags, which is kind of bad, but it is what it is. Um, and then for his Zenkai ability, he will definitely be buffing uh, Legends Road if they continue the trend of what they've been doing for the other uh, Legends Road units, because they all buff Legends Road. So uh, this is pretty much what we're looking at here for Piccolo. Uh, in terms of Legends Road, uh, I pretty much see this team as being his main team. Because again, if you have access to, you know, the other Zenkai's on regen, LF Piccolo and then Demon King Piccolo, honestly, even on Zenkai LF Piccolo, I think is probably just going to be better than this guy, but we'll see. Um, but if you have Demon King Piccolo, um, it's going to be hard for this guy to find a home on regen. So I'm thinking Legends Road will be this guy's go to place. But the thing with Legends Road is like you have such limited options for this team. Kid Goku's definitely aged. So is this Trunks. Gotenks is actually pretty solid, but I mean, he's not going to be able to carry the team for you. And then this Piccolo is a support unit, so he can't carry the team by himself. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what they end up uh, doing for this Piccolo, but I'm um, pretty surprised that they actually did this. And uh, let me know down below what you guys think about him, and I will see you guys all in the next video.